Jenny Keller from JennyCookies.com. Today I'm going to show you how I make my cheese boards. It's one of the most popular things I have at parties and people are always asking how I put them together. So it's really super simple. You're going to start with some sort of a board. I like to use these wood boards from Anco or you can use a marble board or even trays or cake plates. Anything you have that's just a flat surface. And then you're going to start by adding cheeses. And the best thing is to do like a variety of cheeses. So you might want to do some Gouda, some goat cheese, sharp cheddar, like anything that you think your friends might like and just scatter them around your board with the, with the little Goudas. I usually try to like cut them up, same with the Brie so that people aren't kind of having to dig into a huge chunk of cheese. So we'll cut those up. And just scatter them around your plate. And then you can start by adding the different meats. And I usually like to fold mine over a little bit so it's not just flat on your board. It gives it a little height. And this pairs well with wine, dessert. And then you can start adding fruit. And you just wanna use like small little groupings of like grapes, strawberries. I usually like to cut the strawberries like in half so it's not a huge strawberry for people to have to bite into. And there's no rhyme or reason for this. It's just however you wanna lay it out on your board. They're whimsical. Don't think too much about it. Just lay it out and then just fill in the gaps. And then you're gonna start adding your crackers and it's always nice to have a variety of different kinds. These little rice crackers are my favorite little snack. So you're just gonna fill them in in the little holes. And then some of these larger kind, you can even like break them up and just throw them around the board so that people aren't trying to scoop cheese on a ginormous cracker. And let's do some more raspberries and fruit. And then nuts are always nice to sprinkle in again and just like fill in those holes where there's nothing. So like almonds, candied walnuts are delicious. Marcona almonds are great. I'm just gonna put some salted almonds on this. Little candied walnuts, tuck them over here. Right, and then what are we missing? Oh, okay, so garnish. You can garnish with these really cute pomegranates. It's like sprinkles, the cheese board. So we'll just throw these on. You can even put it on top of like the cheese. Looks super pretty. And then I'm getting ready for a Christmas party. So I thought it would be cute to add some greenery to it and just give it a little Christmas spirit. And you know when you deck your, your halls, all of these things fall everywhere. So go ahead and just cut some of those before, before you do your staircase or your mantle and save them, set them aside for your charcuterie board because it looks really cute. All right, I think it's done. So the last thing you're gonna do is put in some knives for people, these little cheese knives here and there so people have something to cut this up with. So you just kind of randomly set these in and then you're ready to go. It looks beautiful. Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas.